and welcome back to my channel if you're new here please hit the subscribe and notification button um, if you want to see how I got this look duping two palettes Enzo wants to talk about it one's from wet and wild and one's from Anastasia Beverly Hills you pick which eye is which just keep watching thanks <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am getting ready to film a dupe video for you of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette compared to the Wet n Wild, I think it's called Rose in the Garden or something like that. No, Rose in the Air, I'm sorry. Palette, I'll show you the two in a minute. I'm just gonna put some of this uh, Urban Decay um, primer potion on my eyes because the rest of my face is done because I've been filming some other videos today as you can tell because I'm in the same clothes but I thought that this color would be fitting considering the palettes so we're gonna we're gonna dupe these two palettes right here you guys know the drill I'll put one palette on the left side of me and one palette on the right my right so what I got right now, I forgot to open the palettes. <clears throat> Let's see if that'll do it. Will that do the trick? Probably not. Why is everything so hard to open? I mean, I appreciate it to a certain extent, but damn. I saw, um, uh, I can't think of her name now. I saw somebody else do this. And I thought, huh, I should try that out. See how it works. See where we get. Alright, we are going to get that box cutter out. Because this is not cooperating with me. That didn't work either. That's amazing. <clears throat> so you guys know the deal. I do not tend to swatch them on my arms. I just don't think that's the same as the palettes themselves. But you can see the colors are very similar in these two palettes. So the Wet n Wild has 10 colors. There are 14 colors in the... In the... Um, Anastasia palette, but we are going to get rolling with a look. So, let me get my little makeup switch ready so we can clean brushes in between application. As you guys know, I go step by step. Step by step. Wasn't that like New Kids on the Block or some crap? Step by step. <clears throat> Yeah. You don't want to clean these brushes off. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this cream color right here. And I'm going to set that down on top of this primer. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit not to drop my camera again hey sorry my dogs are and then I'm gonna go into tempura over here which I think is gonna be a little bit of a shimmer if I remember right but it doesn't matter I'm gonna go over top of it we are just setting down that primer don't get excited don't tell me I'm not supposed to do that I know what I'm doing Okay, so we're going to go in with this uh, color here for the transition. Reminds me of like a 
military town. You know what I mean? Like, it's the old, uh, if you're, if you know anything about the military, or been around military, they call them your uniforms, ACUs, and it's like the desert ACUs. I, I don't know why I'm telling you all that. That's way too much information. So that I think is a dupe for the burnt orange inside of the ABH palette. Pretty darn close, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, by no means am I telling you not to get the ABH palette because I love this palette. But I just thought that it was very neat that there's all these things out that are like dupes because some people just can't afford all this stuff. It's expensive. Stupid, crazy expensive. All right. All right. So how we looking? How we looking? How we looking? My camera's going to overheat because it always does. All right, what are we gonna go into next? Just because I want you guys to get an idea of the performance on some of these dark colors. This color right here, I think is a dupe for the Love Letter color in the ABH palette. So we're gonna go into the crease with that. Yes, there is some kick up on the, um, the Wet n Wild palette. But I don't care. It don't matter to me. My ends is like guarding the door. I let him out. Well, I let him out because I dropped a an eyeliner in his crate and he will eat it. He's crazy. All right, so I'm going to go into this love letter here, which also has some kick up as well. So just because the palette's a high-end brand doesn't mean it doesn't kick up as well. All right, all right, all right. It's obvious. It's a little bit easier for me to blend the ABH, just, you know, but that just... I, that doesn't mean anything. I don't mind blending. That's about where I'm putting the shadow. So, what do you think? What are you thinking so far? I am going to go into this color right here with a... What does this one say? <sighs> a lot of color coming up, but it might be because it's not a lot of color to it. Hmm. It's kind of, uh, I think it's just very close to the red. I mean, yeah, to the love letter-ish color. So it's it's not showing up so well. But let's see what this one looks like. So it's uh, the Antique Bronze is the color that I think it's a dupe for inside of the ABH palette. So let's just see what we get off of that. The ABH palette is a little bit darker. You see, it's darker, but that's okay. I'm going to go back over here. Swatch off this thing. I'm going to go back over here. And I am going to build that sucker up. And get it just as dark as that other one. I don't know, guys. Pretty dang close. Close enough for me. Enzo, there's something outside he doesn't like. Okay. 
Hey, 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 hey. So I'm going to go back into my transition. Okie, we're filming. I'm going to go back into my transition with... No, I'm losing everything. That can go over there for a giveaway. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this color right here, which I think... I'm sorry. It's this color right there. Which I think is a dupe for the red ochre. In the ABH palette. Let's see if I can just deepen up a little bit. A little bit deeper. Just a tiny bit. So let's swatch off our brush and go into that red ochre. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'll show it to you. Oh no, guys. I mean, it's like the same thing. Red ochre's right there. Okay. So, I am going to do a little bit of a... I'm going to see what happens when I put a little bit of light color in the middle here. So, I'm going to go in with this goldish shade, right? Can you see it? I'm sorry. It's right here. When I bought this palette, I had no idea it was going to be a dupe. There goes the chainsaw. That's what they're barking at. The chainsaw. Hey. I may have to get in zone. So, <clears throat> we're going to check the Primavera color. Oko! Oh, Sorry. We're gonna check Primavera and see if that is similar. Yep. Yes, it is. It's a little bit brighter, but we're gonna fix the other side. Let me go back into it after I swatch the brush. Might have to wet in it a little bit, but it's it's pretty darn close. Let me go get the dogs. I'll be right back. Sorry. Hi guys, sorry about that. Puppies were very excited about all the chainsaw action. So I'm just going to go in with my blending brush that still obviously has a little bit of makeup on it from when I did a previous video. Because it's okay. It's really okay. Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit in my inner corner. Let's see what we got here. I may go back into that um, same Primavera and, and touch my inner corner with it. How's that? My poor camera. It's like, give me a break, woman. and welcome back to my channel if you're new here please hit the subscribe and notification button um, if you want to see how I got this look duping two palettes Enzo wants to talk about it one's from wet and wild and one's from Anastasia Beverly Hills you pick which eye is which just keep watching thanks